Don't you look good on the dance floor. Oh, hey, how are you doing? Today we're gonna cook some soup and a sandwich. Um, we're gonna use the Instant Pot blender to make our soup, broccoli cheddar, and I'm just making up some broth. Really not exciting using the pots. Didn't have vegetable broth, so I'm using chicken. And if you want to be, if I want to have full disclosure here, I actually already uh, accidentally mixed beef and chicken broth. Had to throw it out. Start it over. What can you do? The instant pot blender here. All right, we're not. So hopefully it shouldn't take longer than Marty Bum. Basically, just going to peel the carrot, peel the potatoes, cut the skin off the onion. Uh, you know, garlic and stuff too. And then, let's see, can we get it done during Marty Bum? Here it is, take one. Okay. Whoa, totally still Marty Bum. It's the beginning of Marty Bum, how did that happen? Anyways, so uh, totally, this is the amount of vegetables you want. This is what you want in your gullet, in your soup. All right, so there's a scale and there's the vegetables. Let's do that. We want to zero that scale which takes into account the cutting board. You weigh that and you want 1,328 grams. If you're 1,335, that's fine. You don't want to be any more than that though. And you don't want to be under 1,320. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so you get a bag of these guys. You want to have that much left, right? Don't never use the start of the bag, only ever the end of the bag for that end. Then we'll throw in some of these, which are in the broccoli family. And then we're gonna turn down good old Arctic Monkey is one of my favorite bands, but we still gotta turn it down sometimes. I don't know what's happening. I keep having to restart this. All right, we threw in this. We threw in some of these. All right. Then we're gonna throw in the veggies. We got an onion, some jalapeno. A uh, bit small potatoes, a little bit of carrot, all right. A little bit of celery, which will give us juice. Okay, we're a little high in our volume here. That'll get me a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I keep it true. We're gonna throw in what we're making over here, which is our uh, broth. That's ah, two cups and a bit. And I think we're gonna throw in a bit of our cream now. These little half and half in Canada, we call it Cremo. In the rest of the world, you'd probably call it half and half or less creamy. All right, we'll throw in a bit of that. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is freaking salt. Freaking pepper. All right, that's the key is salt and pepper, I think. It's the time I made this before, I didn't have enough. Okay. Um, another few things we want, a little bit of garlic powder, even though we have garlic in there. Powder always packs a punch. I read somewhere, a little hot mustard. Let's see what that, we're, we're doing everything we read online. A little bit of, uh, Chilies, whoop, I mean, crushed red peppers, parsley, sage, rosemary, and time! Time's up, bitches. All right, we got a little paprika. You know what else I read? Cayenne, have a little pump pipe to this, all right? Woo! Okay, we'll uh, add different spices later. I decided to add one more herb. Lemongrass, just a little bit. Lemongrass, of course, lots of Thai food and stuff has lemongrass. I like it. Anything with veggies, lemongrass. Bam! Okay, so now we get the lid for this bad boy. All right, whoop, we melted part of my lid under the lights. That's what happens. And we go. So now we got this bad boy, and I think we just close, I think there's a soup. There we go, soup. Setting one. Setting two. Setting two, mother fro. So that gives us 14 minutes. Let's do it. So now it starts heating that up. 
and uh, we'll do some updates. So in anticipation of the bacon, I'm heating that bad boy up. Am I using the right burner, people? <laughs> oh, everyone knows the rules. All right, there it is, and we got the old splash guard. Oh, what's going on over here? It's at 181 degrees Fahrenheit. Anyone uh, put your hand up if you know the answer. What is the boiling temperature of water? In Fahrenheit, it's 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's waiting to get up there. And then it'll start every now and then it's spinning. It's doing some magic. What else we got over here? We got all our, well, we got a bunch of hot sauces. We have to decide what kind we're gonna have in our sandwich. We got some mayo and some of oh, this is the good shit. The creamy dill mustard from some German name, Ingelhofer. Pickle, barely any regular mustard. And uh, red onion, because you don't have white onions on a sandwich, you're a fucking loser. You got some tomatoes. Romas have been on sale, so I've been buying Romas, some lettuce, and some marbled cheese. Over here for the cheeses, we're gonna put some of the marbled cheese in our soup. We're also gonna throw a little sharper, couple stronger ones, a couple baby bells, and uh, parame is on. I think that's how you pronounce it. All right, so stuff's happening. Oh, another quick tip. Way to open bacon is you get the fillet knife and you open it. And then just saw it along there. I can't do it with one hand. I'm not a superhero for Christ's sake. Sham wow. That's how we do it. All right, that's pretty warm. If you want, you can put your hand right on it to see how hot it is or spit on it. Little dribble of pee never hurt either, but really only if you're cooking for yourself. You don't want to be drinking other people's pee. Okay, it's a little hot. We're gonna take it off. What do we need? These guys, and when do we need them? Now, test them out. Yep, they're good. Okay, we're gonna have to do some two hand work here. The two hand work consists of just scraping that. Just getting her nice and loose off of there. Just scrape her off. Heat her up again. How many pieces of bacon do you think we'll need? I don't know. There's four though. Four is what fits in the pan. Give it a little slide. All right. This is vegan bacon made from antelope meat. Put that on there. You don't want those, especially if you're not wearing a shirt or pants, you don't want those spitting on you. Okay. All right, we just hit 212. And now the timer starts, and it starts bubbling. All right, I have enough Arctic monkeys. Um, okay, Google, let's stick with some Brit Pop. Let's go. Uh, okay, Google, play Kaiser Chiefs. Playing Kaiser Chiefs. Come on, what's it gonna choose, Ruby? Yeah, of course it's Ruby. Okay, Google, turn it up. We got sizzling bacon. We got music. I think it's not very loud. Oh. Why is that so quiet? Okay, Google, turn it up. No, whatever. All right. Bacon, the key to bacon. Cooking it about medium, low and slow. Now, I was a professional in high school, worked at AW, and cooked many, many, many pounds of bacon. Many pounds, I'm not even showing you this right. Ruby, 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 Ruby! All right, we're cooking up some bacon. We slowed the tunes down. Ah, I like it like that. It's not my best bacon, I'm not gonna lie to you and say it is. We're gonna take the juices, we're gonna keep them in a glass jar. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. In the meantime, we're gonna turn that off. We'll look at this. Okay, we got two minutes till we have to play with that. So for our sandwich, BLT, 
So you got some lettuce there. And uh, red onion, obviously. I don't know why I'm using that knife like an idiot. And we're just gonna go with the, uh, this kind of cheese. So, every little piece of your life will mean something to someone. It's all gonna add up to one. We got toast ready to go. Okay, toast is almost ready to go. We got one minute here. We'll get back. All right, some action's going on. I don't know what's going on here. All right, so back. Okay, so now it's starting to blend a bit. What I'm gonna do, Pause it. Okay, so it's paused. Now, what I want to do is uh, add some cheeses. Let's get this baby bell in there. Should have uh, prepped ahead of time. I apologize to you guys. I'm a professional. Start acting like it. So we're going with two pieces of baby bell. It's more of a sharp cheese. Shout out to the Cobra who loves his baby bell. Cobra! Woo! All right. Now what do we got here? Okay. We'll get this in going. Now, I don't know if I can open the lid. We also want to throw in some uh, Parmesan. Regular cheese is. Let's see what happens here. We should be able to do this. Might have to do it the old fashioned way if the setting disappears when we go back. That looks good. Let's get the, you know what? Now is the time for more pepper. It's not coming out fast. It looks like I'm putting lots in, but I don't got it. And another little trick. Some flour. And for volume, we can go a little more. So let's do that with cream. And let's close up this bad boy. And let's hit. There we go. So we got two minutes. Two minutes of this. All right. Well, it goes and it stops. We'll get back. Okay, so toast is down. We've got some mustard, mayo, special mustard, got a couple pickles, maybe some of this hot sauce we've decided on. Bacon. It's gonna work out. Thirty seconds. All right, count it down, folks. Five, four, three, two, one, and beep, 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 beep. so. What we're gonna do is open this mother. We've got a green soup. Let's get a soup testing spoon. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh wow, that's delicious. I don't even want to do anything else to it. Okay, let's get to our toast. Mm, not quite there. I jumped the gun, I jumped the gun. It's all about timing. That's all right, that soup will be good. And uh, basically, we just put this sandwich together. Let's get that on. All right, pop goes the toast. Yeah, we like that, that's good toast. Get a butter knife. Even though we're not using butter, you're able to use butter knives for different things as well. Now, this is the key one. This is the good one right here, folks. Oh, yes. All right, now we get a little bit of mayo. We don't need a lot of mayo, but on a BLT, basically. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot, but it's half 
Muy de gras. Half the fat, folks. All right. Now, let's just make sure. Let's wait on this. Let's wait on this to get a little bit of this. Spread it. You'll see it's not butter, but it will still spread a mustard. Don't try it with anything, but a mustard or mayo can be spread. And then we get more mustards. Because who likes mustards? Uncle Darren. Uncle Darren likes mustards. All right. I like to go bacon on the mayo side. It's very important. Mm, is that enough? <laughs> yes, sir. And we'll go lettuce. Mm, every little piece of your heart. Oh, forgot about the onions almost. Not too crazy on the onions. You don't want to scare off any of your friends. Cheese can go on the bacon as well. ELT with cheese. Tomatoes. Now what do we know about salt and pepper on a sandwich? You must go on the tomatoes. -da -da. I gotta really do a fix of this bad boy. And then we sandwich it together. <laughs> oh yeah. You wanna cut it? Yeah, we're gonna have to cut it. Now, let's do it this way. Oh, yes. Let the knife do the work, people. It's serrated. It's serrated for this. <laughs> All right. Now we're cooking with fire. Oh. Bowl of soup took that much out of it. We have that many more left. Three bowls. Three bowls of soup. So there it is. You got your soup. I forgot the hot sauce, so I had to do some surgery. Open the sandwich. Hot sauce the sandwich. Close the sandwich. And then of course some Pellegrino lemon water. That's uh, basically a nice little, uh, nice little lunch. BLT and broccoli soup, folks. She's glorious.